sky. My hair grow a little bit. You can see the hair color. <laughs> okay. Actually, I have made this video before, but it turned out uh, like lighting is very yellowish because no natural light. And yeah, so I have to redo it about Feng Shui, okay? I think um, first it's better than that you install a Feng Shui uh, Compass uh, app. I've put down the link, okay? This is what I use. And it's accurate. It's look like this. I'm not sure whether you will understand, okay? Okay, how to use the campus uh, compass and um, like to to have the the right directions is first. It's better to to you go to your doorways. You're standing inside your house, okay, inside the door, and facing outside your main entrance of your house, okay. And then what you do is like the compass like this, so. What I do is normally I just put it on the floor, okay? So exactly the center of the door, I just put down and then it will give you the directions like like for example, like if I'm on this side, okay? So when I say that because I uh, so So my garden is on the south. Let me see. You can also like press the cross so you know the cross. Okay, is it? For example. Like in that way, then you can like you can if you know Chinese. I'm not sure this uh, app has an English version, but I try to find one that I think is okay. And I also put the the name or, or information of the apps downstairs. Okay. So basically, you have to like measure like this, so you know what is jaw her meaning what is that like, jaw is. Mm -hmm. Let me see how to explain. Okay. For example, this is the land and this is the house. So the one half things is the front door, okay? So like for example, door hand that's been the house facing and sittings on okay normally we say like like my house is because when you see um, my main entrance is behind me okay is it this is my my bedroom drop door but actually my main entrance also facing that side so when you see my compass that just now the south is in my on my garden that I, that I grow most of the things right so that is facing south and that's when my house is jaw lam hung bak sitting on the south and facing the north so you have to know like your door so you measure inside your house from inside to outside then you will know like the jaw hung when you know the jaw home, that's when the, the house sitting's on and facing. Jaw, that's when sit, home, that's when facing, okay? Then you will easily find the answer for the, like, if you, then the next step is to learn how to draw things like this, okay? This is this is the settings for my old house. 
and you can see the way I draw is it's very it look very complicated right first you have to find out the the center of the house it's better to use um, a floor map because what I did is I measure from the the width of the house okay just use a ruler find the center and then the length of the house and then find the center so this is the dot for the center of the house and what I did is I draw something like this okay so also a dot what I did is actually I should draw the line a little bit darker in order to see and then you use um, then beside this and this then you have to find out the door home of your house that means where is the north where is the south and things like the direction of your house okay you just use a, a compass then I put this underneath so you can see I put a hole on the center and then the center also a hole just like um, <coughs> using a, a needle or I, I did use a needle <laughs> okay <laughs> or a pen or whatever okay the center I found it easier like this is my thumb uh, way you can see I put it like through so I know this is the center and then I use a light to do like a light box and to know the the exactly the directions of it then I just draw the dot that is I have the line So because you have just east, south, and also the uh, southeast, okay, so it's basically is eight directions, like this house, when I did the house entrance is northwest, okay, this is how I do it. Then when you figure out the directions, then you're able to do something like, uh, like for example, like that one. And also from the floor plant, also you know where it is exactly. This is where I used to live, okay? And the north is that side. <laughs> So I find my way to know the, the exact uh, directions. It's very important. Um, and also, a friend of mine also helped me to confirm that uh, the way I measure is correct. Because you need to have the correct di directions in order to, you know, um, do all those things okay like for example like the house I'm living in now what I did is I find the official floor plan actually it, it, it's like this and then and I enlarged my house and I just outlined the things okay so beside like this, I also outline individual each bedroom. Uh, I don't have it with me right now. So it's easier for me to, you know, um, we have set the feng shui uh, beside the house. Each room you can also set another thing that like for example, if you are just you just rent a small apartment like a studio okay then you just use your studio to measure 
it's easier, right? <laughs> Just as long as don't slip on the sick way. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> Christie rooms to this year is uh, the mwang way. If you've been sick. <laughs> Okay. After you know your direction of your the the the, the jaw hang of your house, then um, if you understand Chinese, I will put a link that you might learn more about it. But it's it's in Cantonese. I'm not sure how much people like uh, watching my video speak Cantonese, but I learned a lot from this video, and I want to share. Uh, of course, I, I just I, I don't just listen to one person, and also I have confirmed that some people like in business, and I, I draw my 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 floor plan and things, and I show it to them, and then it's a okay. Yeah, of of course, you have it's friends of mine, and he say, oh, I have it correct, and just follow the the way I draw to. Uh, to set the, 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 the things that where to put plant in the house and things like that. So that's it. If you want to know more, let me know. Then I will put uh, more details or on my Feng Shui follow up. Okay. I'm going to set uh, new things this year. I haven't do anything in this house yet, and also, uh, Edson is going to move to uh, another apartment on August. Yeah, and uh, because he has been accepted for the next year program, so called, uh, the courses is three years now, and it's so expensive. <laughs> Because like I don't understand like Hong Kong, the government uh, like student loans, uh, the loan don't accept that like if you study abroad. I don't understand. I'm trying to like if he can get a student loan that it will be better because it's so expensive to um, live and spend in in London. <laughs> Yeah, especially like uh, the grandparents been in the hospital for on and off about um, the about two weeks time more than two weeks time now if she's 80 something and because of the mosquito bite okay she didn't know that the first time she got into the hospital uh, she feel very weak and I think I don't remember what happened okay, okay at midnight send her to the hospital and then um, she's there for uh, because she got uh, high blood uh, diabetic things like that so and she afraid of darkness and things that that's why she need a private room and the helper need to stay in the hospital with her I don't know how expensive is it uh, so I have to spend a lot that like <laughs> so now and then she got out from the hospital for a week time and after a, a week then she got back to the hospital at midnight again um, and then the second time she got in the first time the doctor can't find out uh, what happened to her it may be just old age and the second time she went in and they finally uh, uh, found out what happened to her okay I put it down so be careful with the mosquito and the hospital been reported to the uh, health, I think health department, health department, and they will spray the mosquito uh, repeller or killer uh, over there. 
So, uh, that's it. That's when SM movie stay in London. <laughs> so, uh, when when uh, the part of my partner asked me, say, oh, it's not that that like when he get into the um, university, so it will be safe for him to like, you know, continue his course of things like that. I said no. A lot of people like got kicked out. <laughs> this <laughs> got kicked out and uh, um, not able to study in that uh, college or university anymore because the standard is not, uh, you know, reach certain certain standard. So I said, mm, whatever. Okay, thank you for your time. Pick up time, pick up Christy after school.